So gear. Some people ask what I use and some people want me to do a what's in my camera bag. So I'm going to do the gear I use and the bags I keep it in, like this one here, which is actually a really cool bag. It's, it's really deep. Like my phone's in here somewhere. You can get right down in where... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, good. Yeah, so uh, gear. What's in my camera bag? Let's do it. So what's in my camera bag? Now I'm going to show you some different things today that I use and basically everything on this table is what I can use to shoot a wedding, a commercial shoot, uh, an event, anything I want to do, I can basically do it with everything that is on this table. What I'm filming on as well is my main camera as well as a Rode Video Micro and a little monitor, I'll show you that at the end. So first things first, the two bags that I use. This is the main bag that I use. It is a Low Pro 450AW, a very popular camera bag in the world of anyone that does photography, videography. It's a popular bag because it's tough and it holds a lot of stuff. It also looks really cool. It's completely black and there's pockets and attachment things pretty much everywhere. So why do I like it? Well, you can put it face down on the ground, dirt, sand, even if it's wet, it doesn't really matter. This is nice and protected here. So you put it down like that, and it opens from the back. In there, you can put everything, you can get everything out really easily. Really nice. It does have access on the top here as well, as well as side here, side here, and pockets, and an attachment too. So, to start with the sides here. Gorillapod, standard YouTube filmmaking stuff. I use the Manfrotto RC32 plates on all of my gear. So this, this, the on crane. So, let's get to the pockets of the bag. What do I have in here? Uh, Gorilla tape, stronger than duct tape. You never know when you're gonna need this. So, good to have a roll in there. That's a mini roll, actually. It's not a full size one. So you do have clips on the side here as well, as you saw me take off my Gorilla Pod earlier. So they just clip on. Nice thing about these is, you can literally pop them on and pop them off and you'll see that the bag has these little kind of like material rivets, I don't know what they're called. Uh, and you can put these in anywhere and completely customize it to how you want and they go on so easy. So really nice to have those and then just with like buckle clips. And you have the same on the other side if you want to do that as well. Alright, so in the top compartment here I have extra propeller blades for the Mavic Pro. Two sets, it's two different kinds of propellers for the Mavic Pro so I have two sets of each. And then, I also have cleaning cloth. I have tons of these, pretty much one in every pocket. You never know when you're gonna need it. Band-Aids, or if you're from the UK like myself, plasters. And a tile, just in case the bag goes missing. Got a way to track it. In the top here, I have a pouch. Inside the pouch, a whole bunch of different audio equipment. RCA cables, 3.5 mil jacks, uh, additional anchors for my cameras for the uh, Peak Design camera system. Watch my other video if you don't know what they are. Just adapters for connecting to different audio sources basically and then additional charging cables. So it's good to have a kit like this if you film weddings. You never know when you're going to need to connect up to the DJ soundboard or into the house's system. So really good to have much cleaner audio when you can get right into the system. And then extra Peak Design plate tool things and a whole bunch of different Allen keys, tools, screws, things that you need to connect equipment to tripods and monopods and that kind of thing. So a whole bunch of that stuff in there just in case. And then we have down here a pen, always good to have. APS-C frame swab. I've got the A7 III now so I should probably get swabs for a full frame as well. In case you get dust on your sensor, it is a nightmare to deal with in video so always have one of these. They're sterile, you can put this straight on the camera if you're in a dust-free environment. A knife. Never know when you're going to need one of those, so good to have. So, inside the main part of the bag, let me see if I can find something to mount that up so we can see inside. Uh, spaghetti squash. It's something my wife eats. That'll work. Put that like that. You stay there. That doesn't work. Alright, now you can see inside the bag. So, Xeon crane. Yes, I fit a Xeon crane in this bag. Pre-balanced. That's a pro tip for you. What I do to make it fit is I take off the handle, I leave the batteries in there. When the lid's closed, the batteries can't come out. Screw on, it's ready to go. That's super easy then, just to have it in there. The fact that I can fit that in there is amazing. 
Um, now that will sometimes be in there. It'll also sometimes be in this bag as well. This is kind of my, my on the go bag. I'll show you that one in a bit. Inside here, uh, batteries. This is an old pouch from another old camera bag. Extra set of Xeon crane batteries. Rechargeable batteries. Good to have for audio. Extra battery for Sony, extra battery for Sony. You should have those everywhere because the Sony batteries on the A6300 and below and 6500 are just terrible. Let's put that out. And then camera strap. You never know when you're going to need it. Peak design. A6300, ready to go. Again, normally be in this bag. 85mm, my favorite lens. Watch this video. We have, another reason I like this bag is you can move all these compartments around. So like you see them all kind of configured here. This is how I like it. You can move it completely how you want. They're all just uh, like Velcro bits. So you can just stick them in however you want. Up top here, a portable charger. This is a Slim Charge 8000 milliamp one. Uh, has quick charge in it as well. So really good for charging batteries on the go, which goes with this RAV Power battery charger. You can pop these straight in like that. Uh, cable comes out, the power adapter into the RAV Power charger. Just the micro Sorry, USB. I'm not sure how to help. Go back to sleep. So yeah, portable charger with RAV Power battery charger. Plugs in through micro USB and you can charge batteries on the go. Very useful. Uh, plug in wall charger just in case. Another battery backup and an old iPhone just in case I need an audio source and I forgot my audio kit. Uh, tissues. Never be surprised when, mainly for a bride, uh, they want to use tissues. So always good to have a set of those. A6000 with the 7200F4. Uh, really good lens for weddings. Sniper lens comes with the lens hood on there. Just doesn't fit in the bag with that on, so we turn that around. And yeah, A6300 attached to this is, is good for a down the aisle shot from the sides. This is usually the one that my wife will use. And then we have a kit lens just kind of thrown in there. Don't really use it, but it's there just in case. You never know. Mavic Pro controller. Uh, I use a Mavic Pro for everything. And uh, yeah, that sits in there nicely. Just below the Mavic Pro controller is the Mavic Pro. I have it all folded up nicely. Fits in this bag like a dream. A little Velcro strap on there to keep it all together. And then of course, iPhone cable. If you watched my Las Vegas video, I did that entire hike, got to the top of the mountain and realized I left this in the car. So now I keep a spare one of these in here all the time and it does not leave this bag. So that's about it for that bag. Let's put that to the side. As I said, all these bags here are what I'd use for a commercial shoot, a wedding shoot. Sometimes I'll be in this bag and this bag, sometimes just this bag. It really depends on the day and kind of what I know. So I plan in advance. So this is a Tenba bag. Uh, this is new for this year. I haven't used this for any weddings yet. The reason I like this bag, it fits a ton of stuff. Like two bodies, two extra lenses, Xeon crane. I could probably put the Mavic Pro in there as well. It fits a lot of stuff. However, it has this really cool feature on it. So, two methods to get into this bag. It has a zip on the top, which gets you straight in. Really cool. However, it also has Velcro on here. So picture this, shooting a wedding, and you need a lens, you left it in the bag. It doesn't have the zip for the sake of this. And it's really quiet. They're doing their vows. So this company figured out something and it's really cool. It's called Silent Velcro. If you pull down on it and lift it, no Velcro. Yes, it still makes a noise, but it's 10 times quieter than the Velcro. That's amazing. Silent Velcro. That's kind of silent. So yeah, inside this bag here, big zip at the back, uh, filters, ND filters, and yeah, ND filters for polarizing filter, ND8, other ND filters. I need to get a step up ring so I don't have ND filters for every lens because every lens has a different end to it. So I have like 50,000 different filters, maybe this year. More gear to buy. On camera here may not do it justice. This is a big bag. Look, A6000, 7200, no problem. Easy. Uh, you can fit the Mavic Pro in there. It's a big bag. Uh, 
This lens is in here right now. This is the uh, 2870 3.5 to 5.6 kit lens that came with the a7 III. Gonna test it out, see how it is. Not probably not gonna keep it, but we'll try it out anyway. Light prism. You can get some cool effects with this for weddings. Matt, who is Matt Johnson? Thanks for the tip on that one. Microphone, this is a cheap microphone from Amazon. It's called a Tacstar SGC598. I did a review on it before. I actually use it for a lot of these videos. I really like it. It's like $40 Canadian, uh, and I can't speak highly enough of it. So I'm happy with these. I have two of these, and I'm gonna continue using them because they work. Taking that back out. And then what else do we have in here? Uh, memory card, I use a Pelican case with a little clip on it, and then that attaches into the bag. It can't go anywhere then, it can't get lost. This gets lost and you have footage on it. You're done. Memory cards, fits lots of them as you can see there. Oops. Uh, 64 gig and 32 gig and 16 gig SanDisk. I only use SanDisk now, they have a really good warranty. If you lose data on your memory card, they have a pretty good track record at recovering it. So uh, yeah, I only use SanDisk now. You can get tons in here, and this was 20 bucks, and it's waterproof, and yeah, get one of these, they're cool. Keep that out. What else do we have in here? Uh, more batteries. You always need more Sony batteries. And cleaning kit, cleaning pen, lipstick, nope, not lipstick, cleaning for the lens. Insides, lower thing, always need one of those, cleaning the lens. Another lens cloth. And, I think, oh, more gum, more tissues, another lens cloth, another Sharpie. So yeah, that is my go bag. I wear that on my shoulder for a wedding day and normally I'll have in it uh, a6300, extra lens, Mavic Pro, a couple of batteries, and I mean, it's still got tons of room in there. So I love this bag, really looking forward to using it this year. And then finally, uh, monopod. So this is a new one I purchased last year and really like it so far. I had an old one before where you needed clips, just like a tripod and the, the legs would come down. This one's just a twist. Unlock it, twist it, and then that's it. Really cool. Got a head on it that came with it. This is a this is a Benro A48 TD if you want to check it out. It also has these legs on it, so you can stand it up like a regular tripod. And with a 70 to 200 on here, just so you can see. Stands up. So yeah, that's why I like that. You can leave it, you can walk away, come back, and your three thousand dollars worth of equipment is still good to go. I wouldn't recommend leaving it really. Had a kid at a wedding once, came up and started shaking everything, and uh, yeah, that was pretty scary. So don't really walk away from this like I just did. This has a really big grip on it. These legs, you can put them up like so if you want to, and then it's just a. Uh, Regular monopod, I guess. This head's really nice as well. It's really smooth. Put your camera on it, and then you wanted a really smooth tilt up. Do it for you. So again, uh, Frodo RC32 plates on there. Uh, use an iPhone, iPhone 10 for most of my stuff. I also use a Google Pixel 2. What else? I think that's it. Oh yeah, in the background there, you can see uh, MacBook Pro. That's what I edit on, and then I use a little Samsung 256 gigabyte SSD for storing the footage on. I didn't show you what I'm filming with yet either, so here we go, video. So this is all the stuff that I film with. Uh, Viltrox monitor, very happy with this monitor, love it. I'll put the link down below, did a really good review on it, and super happy with it. It was really cheap for what I use, really good. Obviously Sony doesn't have flip out screens, so I love this. A7R 3 my new baby, and a grip on it as well. I just did a review for uh, the Sigma 16 f1.4 lens beautiful lens even on an a7 III with the crop it still works really really good a road video micro love this little guy as well with the windsock on it I use a curly cable here to plug in don't know what the technical term is and that goes directly in as well as the road video micro there too so yeah, that's pretty much all I film with, as well as these little C-clamps. Love these, they're completely customizable to whatever you want. And then one of these as well, which kind of like has two ends to it and you can plug them into whichever you want and they just screw in and love those. Yeah, really good. So yeah, if you have any questions about any of this stuff or you want me to do a review on any of this stuff, put a comment down below and uh, this is what I use in 2018 for pretty much everything. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like down below, subscribe if you're not part of my channel already. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Now I've got to clear this up. This is the worst part about taking all your gear out. This is like the end of every wedding. Everything's just everywhere and you've got to reorganize it every single time.